some point soon we can cyclone and then we'll put uh, lesser poison in it lesser poison uh, wait that's the wrong place Lesser Poison, Herald of Agony. Herald of Agony gives you like, what, 20% chance to poison? What does it say here? 10%, 20, yes, 20% chance to poison. We're gonna get a bunch of virulence nodes, like from the class, uh, passive cluster. In terms of the items, I have some items in my head, like, figured out what I need. Because uh, I've played Summoner before, I've played uh, Herald of Agony before, so I know some of the items that are very, very useful. But there are still some that I'm sure I can do much, much, much better, but I just don't know which items are optimal yet. But we'll solve it all. At this stage, we just worry about leveling, making sure that our tree is like fairly optimized, you know? Like that we're gonna be able to like start doing low maps with it and stuff. Okay, now kill piety. She's annoying because she's stuck in a corner, but it's okay. Hello? There we go. We wanna use this belt now. The SRS starts falling off uh, soon, I guess. Like if we're not like, you know, scaling it properly, linking it properly and so on. Uh, but then we're gonna be going toward the Herald of Agony, Cyclone, all of that stuff. I like going this way, even though it's not like the most uh, appropriate for levels. I still prefer going to the docks first. If you want to do like the most level efficient, you take the waypoint, like you go to the Solaris, but uh, I don't like doing that way. And attack cast speed, those are the most important stats for me. The minion attack and cast speed. And here is how we do that. We go to the battlefront, back to the battlefront. So this way you end up not uh, backtracking at all. I need to get a lionized chest, I think. Of course, I could always go with calms. I think I should read up on uh, bonuses of, to the damage that affect minions. Okay, get uh, whatever decks. So I'm starting to fall off with the damage, I think. Because this is the point where you want a 4 link. Could uh, link speed to my SRS, but then I lose, lev lose a level, yeah? Because I'm removing it from the uh, wand. I'll wait until 34. How is he taking 0 damage? Does he have like, I don't know, super immunity to fire? He's taking so little damage. I'm gonna kill this guy for fun.
We're level 29, no, we're level 28 in a 29 zone. Perfect. 29. So we could Cyclone, but I'm gonna wait until they can equip the Claw. Can't be bothered wasting time on, like, the fucking making a Claw. Because they can only equip uh, the Claw at 34. So I'll end up having a slightly slower, you know, Dominus and whatever. We're, we're leveling our gems, so... Increase damage, cast speed, everything, okay. Okay, let's kill Piety now. And she's dead. Tower key. That went better than expected. Because we were able to stack the damage on her. Okay. What do I want now? Now I want to go here, get this Chaos Rest, and get this to get the uh, attack speed for me. Um. <sighs> So we could do Cyclone, but I want to wait until 34 so that I can equip this thing. 34. Let's wait until 34. Because I can't be bothered making a claw. Really. And then I'll, then I'll fix the gear, links, all of that stuff. Yeah. It's just four levels, which... Basically, we're gonna finish Dominus. Um, gonna finish Dominus and then do the dried leg. Then I should be 34 soon after that. Or the mines. Where did I end up? It's not where I want to go. Wow, this is weird as zone. I don't think I've had this one before. Skipping so many waypoints, skipping all the side quests. We don't care about that. On a league start, this is actually a very nice character to play. Because uh, it's so tanky, you get such good experience if you're not doing what I'm doing right now. If you're just picking up rares and making sure you have uh, good enough gear. But it's very easy, easy to gear. It's like all you care about is links and defensive stats. Now we kill Mr. Domino. Holy shit, what chunked me so hard? It's this guy. My minions are probably dying a lot. But it's fine. Colossal Life Flask, I'd like that. I have very little health, that's why I'm um, vulnerable to elemental ailments, things like that. Raise some extra zombies, some skeletons. We 
Okay, die. And we go to the dried lake. We're gonna hit 34. And we're gonna fix our gear and ascend and all of that stuff. And we're gonna start becoming the character that we're supposed to be here. Which is uh, Herald of Agony. Thirty-two. Two more levels. I should pick up decks. I'm gonna be short on decks. If I don't, well, I'm gonna equip. I'm gonna have a uh, from items as well. And I'm gonna lose the reservation. I'm gonna lose the skater bots completely. For Herald of Agony and Precision and the Banner are gonna help me with my accuracy because that's another thing that you might be lacking. Accuracy helps you maintain, like it gives you the life on hit and it gives you the po poison. Yeah? More poison procs, more damage from the Herald. So let's pick this Dex here and then let's go for the other Dex node. Cause this build is pretty short on decks. Let's make it quickly through the mines. Pick up the waypoint and then we're gonna be 34. I'm gonna be able to equip all the things. And we want to pick up this. God damn it. What is this extra physical damage aura? That's what's doing damage to me. Alright. Okay, so I switched right now to the setup that is a little bit uh, closer to what we are going to be playing. We have the um, Herald of Agony. Six linked in a chest in Tabula Rasa. We got it with Death Mark, Vicious Projectiles, Damage on Full Life, Minion Damage, and Minion Speed because attack, cast, and move speed for this guy is very, very good. Uh, then we got Cyclone with 45 faster attacks and lesser poison. Lesser poison gives us 40% chance to poison, and uh, Mortem Morsi gives us 60, and then also Herald of Vagony gives us 20, so we are 20 overkill. Um, but lesser poison is actually better than poison because it gives me the flat added chaos damage and I'm not scaling poison anyway so increased poison damage doesn't do shit for me. Uh, minion speed meat shield uh, calling strike on someone holy relic so he's gonna be calling for me and killing stuff. We got um, intimidate from the belt, we got reduced mana cost uh, of skills from praxis. Uh, what else do we have here? Precision War Banner. I can only fit War Banner right now in my mana because of all the uh, stuff on Herald of Agony and Flame Dash. Our our Cyclone is zero mana cost because of Praxis. It's a very cheap item, very cheap unique, like one Chaos unique. Uh, and you just get a good roll, and you can quality it up if you want to give it you give it uh, minus nine to total mana cost. It's amazing for leveling. Uh, and that's it, and some shield that makes me actually have 80% maximum cold dress. You know, just cheap, 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 cheap leveling, ge leveling gear, you know. Nothing he here costs any anything more than, like, you know, few chaos. Like, Tabula Rasa is the most expensive item here, so if you can afford Tabula Rasa, you can afford everything here. Um, one thing we want to do now is to ascend. So we're gonna actually become the necromancer that the build roulette gave us. Okay, how is our virulence? We wanna, after we get some life, we wanna get the stuff that gives me virulence stacks uh, for longer.
Death mark this guy. This build in this build you could play a lot more minions. I could play zombies uh, as well. Like I could add zombies, I could add specters to this build. I'll probably end up having some utility specters in the end. Like proxy shield specter. Yeah, proxy shield specter sounds nice. Because I'm gonna have Victorious Charity uh, for frenzy charges on the Herald, which is amazing. Currency. Let's enchant the gloves, why not? And the sand as a necro. So, 15% damage, life that doesn't do much. Uh, I mean, Holy Relic can die from AoE, so I guess life for Holy Relic and the Golem. And then the move speed, attack speed, cast speed, very important. The levels are gonna be great. And let's continue. Now we're ascended. We're actually a necro. We got Herald of Agony rolling. And time to complete Act 4. So by this time you should have your build rolling. You get access to like all the skill gems. Uh, that you need to by this time like unless you're going solo self found and you're playing a build that doesn't get that particular skill in their vendors and stuff then i guess you gotta wait until act uh six and lily i guess she's called right the gem vendor in the lion eyes and not lion eyes in the lions what's what's it called the the first town whatever the first town is just trying to keep up the poisons. I feel like the cluster jewels, cluster jewels that give you reduced vir like virulence uh, decays slower is, are gonna be very helpful. But this is largely about like levels and you stack as much attack speed and cast speed for your minions. Where's this guy? Give him the death mark, two hits and he's dead. So this zone is level 38 and we are only level 35. So we're going to the other one. Calm's dream. And this level this is the level 37. That we were catching in XP. I should use convocation I guess. Should use convocation, and then we're gonna have the offerings as well on uh, like cast while channeling with cyclone. But for that, how else could I get chance to poison? I'm gonna need to figure out how to get a good chance to poison. I mean, I can get it on gear as well. Like I could get gloves and have that, but. Probably rather get gloves with uh, projectile damage. And I'm gonna read up more on Agony Crawler to see. Because I know he casts spells as well as attacks. Uh, but I wanna figure out like whether it's worth to invest in cast speed or just attack speed for the minions. If there is any choice. 
uh, along the path of like making this build better because I want to give it give this build like a better clear speed that's what I'm gonna try to do like make this build clear decently fast death mark on this one Okay. The sound is a bit glitchy. I think it's because of the low volume of the sound. I think this should be better now. Alright, now we go to the Grand Arena. Single wait, how much damage did he take? What the hell? So we're stuck at like 32 stacks with this attack speed, but we're gonna get a bunch of more attack speed. Wait, I don't have my banner. That's probably why. some reason I lost my banner um, I have a flask in my inventory I always make a bleed flask for this stage of the game and then I leave it in my inventory so that every other character that I level I basically just do this go here get the flask and we have like bleed 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 until the end of the game from this stage and this is the stage where it becomes relevant Could fit like <laughs> skeletons here, like Val skeletons, could fit zombies here, could add a specter here as well, but I'm just too lazy to do it right now. We're, we're clearing just fine. Let's go, buddy. 